वेस्ट वॉटर स्टोरी आई एम थर्स्टी आई वॉन्ट टू टेक वॉटर नो डोंट टेक इट बट वाय सी द वॉटर इज डर्टी एंड इट्स वेरी अनहेल्थी देन मॉम वॉट काइंड ऑफ वॉटर इज पोर्टेबल फॉर आस वी शुड ऑलवेज ड्रिंक क्लीन वॉटर लेट एस हैव अ लुक सी दिस डर्टी वॉटर इट इज डार्क इन कलर एंड हैज लॉट्स ऑफ इम्प्योरिटीज इन इट ऑल्सो इट स्मेल्स बैड नाउ लेट्स टेक द सैम्पल ऑफ क्लीन वॉटर एंड डर्टी वॉटर एंड एग्जामिन दीज सैम्पल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ माइक्रोस्कोप ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली द वॉटर विच इज डर्टी कंटेन्स मेनी स्मॉल जर्म्स वाइल क्लीन वॉटर डज नॉट ओ माई गॉड हाउ डर्टी वॉटर आई वॉज गोइंग टू ड्रिंक हम्म आई थिंक योर डाउट्स आर क्लियर नाउ येस मॉम थैंक यू सो मच रिड्यूसिंग वेस्ट जेनरेशन बेटर हाउस कीपिंग प्रैक्टिसेज द एक्टिविटीज दैट वी कैन अंडरटेक टू रिड्यूस द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वेस्ट मटीरियल्स एंड पोल्यूटन्स कैन बी ग्रुप्ड इन टू टू ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज कुकिंग ऑयल एंड फैट्स शुड नॉट बी थ्रोन डाउन द ड्रेन बिकॉज फैट्स एंड ऑयल्स ब्लॉक द सुअर पाइप्स देर बाय इट रिड्यूसेज द फिल्टरिंग ऑफ वॉटर दस यू शुड ऑलवेज थ्रो ऑयल्स एंड फैट्स इन द डस्ट पिन्स You should not throw chemicals such as motor oils, medicines, insecticides, solvents and paints in water because these chemicals kill the microbes that help in cleaning the water. Tea leaves, soft toys, cotton sanitary towels and solid food remains should not be thrown in the sewer pipes or drains because they block these pipes. They also block the flow of oxygen. thereby causing a disturbance in the degradation of waste materials thus you should always throw these materials in the dust bins waste water treatment plants in waste water treatment plants the waste water is treated through the physical chemical and biological processes to remove the physical chemical and biological contaminants bar screen the purpose of this section of water treatment plant is to remove large sized objects from the wastewater such as rags sticks cans plastic packets napkins and papers by allowing the sewage to pass through a bar screen grit and sand removal after the wastewater is treated through the bar screen it goes into the grit and sand removal tank in this tank the flow of the water is slowed down to allow sand pebbles and grit to settle down at the bottom of the tank clarification after the waste water passes through the grit and sand removal tank it is allowed to settle down in a large tank with a slope towards the middle solid materials like feces settle at the bottom and are removed with the help of a scraper the deposited waste material thus collected is called sludge The contaminants that float over the surface of the water are removed by a skimmer. The water that is treated in this process is called clarified water and the process is called clarification. Sludge in the tank is allowed to decompose with the help of anaerobic bacteria. That is bacteria which can survive in the absence of oxygen to produce biogas. that can be used for the generation of electricity aeration aeration is the process that follows the process of clarification air is pumped into the water so that the aerobic bacteria that is bacteria which need oxygen to survive can grow in it these bacteria consume human wastes food wastes soaps and other pollutants that remain in the clarified water this pumping of air into the clarified water goes on for several hours eventually the microbes start to settle down at the bottom of the tank as activated sludge this process of removal of water starts from the top of the tank the activated sludge that settles down at the bottom of the tank is about 97% water This water is removed by machines or sand drying beds. Dry sludge can be used as manure. 
the water treated through this process contains low organic material it is therefore discharged into the sea or river or into the ground for natural purification chlorination before releasing the water chlorination is necessary in order to make it germ free chlorines are thus added to it this process is known as chlorination chlorine acts as a disinfectant it is harmless to humans and other animals alternative arrangement for sewage disposal low cost and on site sewage disposal systems such as septic tanks chemical toilets composition pit etc are very suitable for isolated buildings or small cluster of houses in the pre treatment portion of a septic system many of the contaminants are removed from the waste water in order to prepare it for final treatment and discharging into the environment contaminants in the waste water include harmful bacteria that can cause illness as well as nitrogen and phosphorus that can stimulate algae growth in water bodies the main unit of the pre treatment portion of the system is a tank commonly called a septic tank septic tanks are used to settle out solids and partially treat waste water before it reaches the distribution system septic tanks should be made of reinforced concrete polythene or prefabricated fiberglass many of the septic tanks used now are two compartment tanks as seen in this illustration an aerobic system can remove between 85 to 98% of the organic waste aerobic units treat waste water to a high enough quality that the effluent can be used in a ground level spray system aerobic system is typically made up of four components pre treatment tank an aeration chamber chlorination chamber and a land application spray system the excreta collected in these toilets can be used for generating biogas activities at public places to reduce waste generation large numbers of people visit public places such as bus stops airports railway stations and hospitals every day it should be the responsibility of every individual to keep these places clean every citizen must try to keep public toilets neat and clean people should not excrete in the open places as it possesses a serious health hazard